It's crazy to even fathom that it's been three years since the mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas in South Florida. Across the state, districts continue to work to beef up school security, including in Pasco County. 10 Tampa Bay's Bo Zimmer runs through some of the new tech and safety additions to put parents' minds at ease and help students stay safe. They're the chilling images from inside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School as students rush to hide on the afternoon of Valentine's Day 2018. Since then, in the loss of 17 students and staff members, the state has made it a priority to protect future Florida students and teachers. It's not like it was many, many years ago where the campuses were open and everybody can go free. They didn't have those type of threats. Times have changed. Michael Baumeister spent 30 years working in local law enforcement and this summer was brought on by Pasco County Schools as the head of safety and security. Tuesday, he briefed board members on a list of priorities for further enhancing campus security countywide. Some of our schools have fences, some don't. So we're going to look at the schools that don't and see if we can improve the safety of the schools by limiting who can get on campus and how they can get on campus. Schools in Pasco will also get special ballistic window film to prevent a potential gunman from breaking or shooting through glass windows while also making it difficult to see in from the outside. Schools are also getting new video doorbell systems so the front office can control who's allowed inside. And you want to make it more difficult for people to get to places that they're trying to do that cause issues or problems. And as we saw with Parkland, just calling 911 might not be enough. Now, every staff member will have access to an emergency alert system, which they can trigger from their phone or laptop, not only pinpointing potential threats for law enforcement, but also sending out an immediate alert to the entire school. If we had an active threat, every teacher in the school will know what's going on. Baumeister hopes state lawmakers don't forget the lessons learned at Stoneman Douglas and continue funding these safety improvements to prevent yet another repeat of 2018. We just never want the security and safety of our schools ever to go by the wayside. And I know how time goes on, people forget, but we shouldn't ever forget. Marjorie Stoneman was a tragedy. Our, our kids are our, our most precious asset, and we always need to keep them on the forefront. We will never forget. And Pasco says while many of these changes take time, they are moving ahead with things on schedule. Now, taking a deeper dive, Pasco isn't the only area district that's taking a look at their security measures and trying to improve them. The largest school district, Hillsborough, in our area, met with the sheriff's office back in September to review security plans. The district has also been rolling out wearable key cards to teachers to uh, alert the police if there's a problem on campus. The governor signed Alyssa's law over the summer requiring silent panic alarms in all public schools. It's named for a student who was killed in that Parkland shooting.